Hi guys, so in this video I'll be using yarn in two different colors. The yarn is in size 4 medium and the crochet hook is in size 5.5 millimeters. I'll start by making a slip knot and then I'll chain 4. Now on the last chain from the hook I'll make a slip stitch. Now for row 1 I'll chain 3 then right here through this loop I'll make six double crochet. So we have the three double crochet. So we have the three chain in the beginning of a row plus six double crochet and that will give us seven double crochets in total. So now that we have seven double crochets I'll chain one then I'll cut this yarn. And this completes row 1. Now for row 2 I'll use yarn in different color. And then right here through this third chain I insert my hook and I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. Now I'll chain 3 then right there through that same chain I'll make 2 double crochet. For the next two chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Now through this next chain right here, which is the fourth chain from the start, I'll make two double crochet and this is our center. I'll chain two, then through that same chain I'll make two double crochet. Now, through these next two chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Then through this last chain, I'll make three double crochet through that same chain. To complete row two, I'll chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. And this completes row two. Now for row 3, I'll go back and use yarn in color A. Again, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Then I'll chain 4. Through that same chain, I'll make 1 double crochet. Chain 1, I'll skip 1 chain and through the second chain, I'll make one double crochet, chain one, skip one chain into a second chain, I'll make one double crochet, chain one, skip one chain into a second chain, I'll make one double crochet. Now right here through this two chain loop, I'll make one double crochet, chain two, then through that same two chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. And now again, through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet, chain one, skip one chain and through a second chain, I'll make one double crochet, chain one, skip one chain and through a second chain, I'll make one double crochet, chain one. Now through this last chain right here, I'll make one double crochet, and I'll chain one, then through that same chain, I'll make one double crochet. Now to complete row 3, I'll chain 1, then I'll cut this yarn. This completes row 3. We'll go back and use yarn in uh, color B. Again, right here through this third chain, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through the slip knot loop and pull through. Now I'll chain 3. Then through that same chain, I'll make uh, 2 double crochet. Through this next one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Through this next one chain loop, one double crochet. Through the next double crochet chain, one double crochet. Through the next one chain loop, one double crochet. 
through the next double crochet chain one double crochet through the next one chain loop one double crochet through the next two double crochet chains one double crochet through each chain now right here through this two chain loop I'll make two double crochet I'll chain two then through that same two chain loop I'll make two double crochet through the next two double crochet chains one double crochet through each chain through the next one chain loop one double crochet through the next double crochet chain one double crochet through the next one chain loop one double crochet through the next double crochet chain one double crochet through the next one chain loop one double crochet through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet through this next one chain loop one double crochet and through this last double crochet chain one double crochet now to complete row 4 I'll chain 1 then I'll cut this yarn and this completes row 4 now for row 5 right here through this third chain I'll insert my hook then I'll insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through I'll chain 4 through that uh, same chain I'll make one double crochet one two we're supposed to have nine I'm just going to improvise so through this next chain I'll make one double crochet chain one skip one chain into a second chain I'll make one double crochet chain one skip one chain into a second chain one double crochet chain one skip one chain into a second chain one double crochet chain one skip one chain into a second chain one double crochet chain one skip one chain into a second chain one double crochet chain one skip one chain into a second chain one double crochet we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll chain one, then right here through this two chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain two, then through that same two chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Again, I'll chain one. Through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one. Skip one chain into a second chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one. Skip one chain into a second chain, one double crochet chain one skip one chain into a second chain I'll make one double crochet chain one skip one chain into a second chain I'll make one double crochet chain one I'll skip one chain into a second chain I'll make one double crochet chain one through this next chain I'll make one double crochet see how many we have one two three four five six seven eight chain one and through the same chain I'll make one double crochet now I'll chain one then I'll cut this yarn so this completes row five now for row six I'll use yarn in different color and for this row we'll repeat the row uh, four so right here through this third chain I'll make a slip stitch then I start my hook through this loop and pull through I'll chain three then through that same chain I'll make two double crochet through this next one chain loop I'll make one double crochet through this next double crochet chain one double crochet through this next one chain loop one double crochet through the next double crochet chain one double crochet through this next one chain loop one double crochet through the next double crochet chain one double crochet through this next one chain loop one double crochet through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet through this next one chain loop one double crochet through the next double crochet chain one double crochet through this next one chain loop one double crochet through the next double crochet chain one double crochet so we repeat this until we reach the center of this row through every chain we make one double crochet
Now right here through this two chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. I'll chain two, then through that same two chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Now through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next one chain loop, one double crochet. Through the next double crochet chain, one double crochet. Through the next one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. So I'll continue making one double crochet through each chain until I reach the end of this row. I believe this will turn out pretty. But we'll see. <laughs> Now, through this last double crochet chain, I'll make three double crochet. I'll chain one, and then I will cut this yarn. So this completes row five. As you can see here, I already made one. And now we're going to join um, these two rows but not, not this way. I'll, sh I'll show you how to do that. For row six, I'll use yarn in color A. And then, here. Through his last double crochet chain, I insert my hook, then I insert my crochet, slip my hook and pull here. I'll chain four. Now, through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Then I'll chain one, then I'll skip one chain and through a second chain I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one chain and through a second chain I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one chain and through a second chain I'll make one double crochet. So we repeat this until we reach this first two chain loop. Now right here through the last chain, I'll make one double crochet. Then I'll chain one, then right there through the two chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain two, and through the same two chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Uh, chain one, then through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Again, I'll chain one, through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet, chain one. I'll skip one chain and through a second chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one chain and through a second chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one chain through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. And then we repeat this until we come at the end of this row. Let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Wait, what? Oh, this is, oh, okay, this is from the other side. 
I counted the other ones. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There was a mistake somewhere, which I don't know where, so I was just going to improvise and make 14 on this side as well. Because I'm not going backwards. So, we have 14 on this side and 14 on that side. But don't count this one. This one is a part of the other uh, triangle. So now I would chain one. Then I'll take this other part of a triangle. Then right there through the third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Now we need to make sure to have 14 double crochets with one chain in between for this side as well. So we just repeat the same thing. Chain one, skip one chain into a second chain. We'll make one double crochet. And then we repeat this until we reach the two chain loop, the next two chain loop. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, wait, what? Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that's 12. I'm just trying to make them even for this row. Since we joined, so it's 12. So through that same chain again, I'll make one double crochet. That will be 13. Chain one. And through this next two chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Oops. And through this next two chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain two. Then through that same loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one. Through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet chain one to the next chain I'll make one double crochet chain one skip one chain into a second chain I'll make one double crochet chain one skip one chain into a second chain I'll make one double crochet so I repeat this so I reach the end of this row Let's see how many we have on this side. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This will be 13 because it's a part of this one and 14. Find one more. So I'll chain one and this is the 14th one. So I'll skip one chain through the second chain. I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, then through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. So this completes row seven, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is what we wanted. This will go on, fall on our shoulders like this, but not yet. You know, we're not done yet. Now we just uh, work on our existing stitches and only increase at the center. At uh, uh, these two centers will be this one and this one here. Let's start here. So we start right here through this first double crochet chain. I would chain three. Then right here through this one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Through this next one chain loop, one double crochet. Through the next double crochet chain, one double crochet. Through the next one chain loop, one double crochet. 
through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet through the next one chain loop one double crochet through the next double crochet chain one double crochet through the next one chain loop one double crochet through the next double crochet chain one double crochet so we repeat this until we reach this two chain loop at the center no you don't even have to count them you know so we already squared that away in our previous row Now, right here through this two chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Then I'll chain two, then through that same two chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Through the next double crochet chain, one double crochet. Through the next one chain loop, one double crochet. So, you see here, I'm gonna whip these ends in after this row so they look too bad. Uh, so we repeat this until we reach the next two chain loop and then in that two chain loop as well we repeat the same thing we did here through that two chain loop I'll make two double crochet chain two then through that same two chain loop I'll make two double crochet and they just continue working in every chain. Then we just repeat the same thing throughout row 8. Now, now to finish row 8, right here through this third chain I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain 1, then I'll cut this yarn. So this completes row 8. Now for row 9, I'll start the row right here at the same chain. So I insert my hook right there through the chain, then through a slip knot loop and pull through. I'll chain four. Then I'll skip one chain and through a second chain I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one chain and through a second chain I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one chain and through a second chain I'll make one double crochet chain one, skip one chain and through a second chain I'll make one double crochet. So I repeat this until I reach this two chain loop. So now that I reach this two chain loop, I'll chain one, and through this next two chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain two, then through the same two chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one chain, and through a second chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one chain, and through a second chain, I'll make one double crochet. So I'll repeat this throughout row 9 and again just as we did in other rows when we reach this 2 chain loop we repeat the same thing we did here we increase so yeah we just repeat this throughout row 9 now to finish row 9 I'll chain 1 then right here through this third chain I'll make a slip stitch I'll chain 1 then I'll cut this yarn 
So this completes row 9. Now for the pattern, we repeat rows 8 and 9. Repeat rows 8 and 9 for the pattern. And of course, we'll be increasing through the center of each row. I'm not sure for how many rows. Um, I'm just going to have to keep trying it on after a few rows and see. Now I'll come back and show you guys the rest. Repeat these two rows until we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So we repeat this until we have 27 rows in total. I uh, switched um, to the green color after a few rows. I thought it would look a bit better. Because here uh, in front it looks like a jewelry. I felt that uh, switching to one color after a few rows it will look better. And I really like how it's turning out. And it fits so awesome guys. So here from the center, from the top, to here's 22, then, so it's around 25 inches long. This part right here, the opening from one shoulder to another, is uh, 11 and a half inches, and let's see from one widest part to another is yeah, 30 inches now to finish this last row I already chained one then right here through this third chain I'll make a slip stitch I'll chain one then I'll cut this yarn and then we'll weave these ends in I'm going to make some tassels. I'm just going to use two cardboard here so it'll be easier to cut. I've never tried this before, but I want to try it today. Let's see how wide it is. Yeah, it's um, seven inches wide. So we'll use two strands in green, two in burgundy. Then right here, through this one chain loop, I insert my hook, I insert my hook right here through these uh, four strands of yarn, pull through, and just make a knot, just like this. Now through the next one chain loop, we'll repeat the same thing. So we repeat this all around our work by using four strands of yarn for each one chain loop and then we do the same thing for this two chain loop as well. So we repeat this all around our work. 